<laughs> Instant satisfaction. No swearing. No sawdust. We should have cleared off the dead flies. Hi folks, we're the Restoration Couple. In today's video, we're going to be taking our old tired curtains and blinds and transforming the front of our house with... Shutters! She loves shutters. Right, we're in our first window, so this is the small bedroom upstairs. We've unpacked a bunch of the frames. When we've got a bit more space, we'll show you how they come packaged. But this one is our guinea pig window. So we're going to try and fit it on the floor. Should be the easiest one. Should be the easiest one. And then they say left and right. Stamp to the handy. end. These came pre-installed. These are the little spleens, bow tie shaped spleens that go in and join the two sections together. the bottom section, they're all identical profiles, but what we had to do is cut a notch out of the back to sit over the trim. I'll show you on the window. Normally you wouldn't have to do this. So we'll look at how we measured up later in the video, but this is a cut out of the profile. It gets to the bottom of ours, this bit steps out. So all I've done is I've just notched out the back of here, just so that our bottom frame now sits tight against the frame of the window. The big reveal is the first look. There's loads of different ways that you can choose to have these open and close. There's like different bars or hidden or individual. We've gone for this one, which is just when you move one, they all move. There's this hidden bar in the back. So we need the box with the pins in. We're in the middle of the day now. Do you not know this is a bit dark in here? I know it's so dark. So you can open that like that. Like that. Awesome. Nice, aren't they? I really like them. Are you going to miss your stick on blind that you've had for the last? <laughs> no, I'm not going to miss that. <laughs> Go to bed without the summer sun. It's so like... they, they don't close, there's oh. always a gap if you have them down, so you've always got a bit of daylight. But at night time, when, when you go like that, that's when they ah. close tight, see? Ah. Right, window one was a success. Now we're working on the landing one. I've put all the boxes stacked up out there, so we're gonna build it in here and just sit it up into the frame afterwards. I can't think of any situation where you'd see the back of the frame, but this is what it looks like, that little bow tie spleen there just holds it really tight. I'm not even sure that kind of gluing and clamping this would really benefit at all. They lock in place and if you've measured correctly then there shouldn't be any movement anyway. This isn't a custom colour, this is their, I think it's grey white, but I, I mean it's certainly close enough to these. Are they safety socks? Seriously, are they safety they're, socks? They're, they're to match my safety slippers. I know, but they're not even matching safety socks. You're going to have what all sorts of trolls on at you. You lift the curtain up, and when I say drop, and then you'll be gone. Okay? We do, we do, we do a real... How? How? <laughs> uh, what's next is we're going to test fit. Oh, yeah, that's better. Good techers. Uh, how's it looking? Bang on. Okay. And then we just want to make sure things are plumb. First time in this house anything's ever been straight. Look at that. We should probably uh, screenshot that. That's fine. So I've got good fixing top and bottom. Basically gonna go for two fixings, but I'm gonna go in on, a, on an angle and just kind of skew mm. the screw in and pick up on the frame that way, rather than going in sideways. If you had a nice square reveal, you'd just go in straight into the brickwork. Instant 
the satisfaction. No swearing. No sawdust. Think we should have cleared off the dead flies. Uh, what dead fly? Right, because these are a pair of bifolds, they hinge in the middle as well. There's a corresponding rebate here with the other one, so they'll kind of knit together when they're closed to stop light coming through the gap. So we'll get that one home. Two little magnets in the middle. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Woohoo! And we've kind of jumped one step ahead here because we're impatient, but we've put it in. Uh, the frame is fixed in place now. We've obviously got to put our cover strips in to hide, hide our screws. But also the hinges have adjustment. You see there the slotted holes, so we just want to make sure everything's centered nicely. We'll adjust the doors and then we'll put in that last screw and tighten it all up. Because you're not face showing everyone our dirty window sills. Well, you need to tell people at least that this is where the cat resides for food. This is the it's cat normally window. up here because it's some a place where the kids can't get to. More mess. Just tidying with my feet. Sweep it to the side. <laughs> so this is the playroom slash breakfast dining room. Dumping ground. Hey! What's so funny? So, here is, you can see I've just cut that picture rail square with the frame going in, so it means that when our frame sits in, hopefully that'll terminate into the side. Right, so this one needs to be clipped in, right? So, hang on. Woo! <laughs> Are you gonna put me into the dancing? Dirty, Dirty dancing. dancing. <gasps> I've shaved a little bit of the plaster from the top corner just where it was binding up a bit but I'd rather have it, as long as it's not distorting the frame, I'd rather have it quite snug and then we don't have to worry too much about putting trim pieces everywhere. But one of the main reasons, because you get different profiles, there's some which are a bit chunkier than this which you fix in that way. The main reason I want with this one is it fit in such a way that I can still yeah. make sure that this window clears and you can see it's tight um, it's kind of perfectly fitted actually that the inside of this frame is no smaller than the inside of the window frame So you can see the rails. Yeah. You just need to make this one a little bit higher. This is also a gap at the top that's bigger. So this one needs to shift up. If I lift it and then you screw it, turn this one up. I'm just swing it shut, I'll just check it. Right, we're on our second afternoon of install, hopefully we can get it done. This is the bay window, it's a bit of a gloomy room and also we've just struggled with old fashioned sort of net curtains and second hand curtains for far too long. So it's time to transform it. Right, before we jump into the bay window, I'll just show you how I did the measuring up all those months ago because it's quite tricky, especially if you haven't got square reveals and it's nice and straightforward. The templates 
that were in a PDF, you can cut out, um, print off and cut out, and that gives you the life size kind of profile of the frame. So then the most important thing when it came to doing this bay is having two of them, and then that way we can make sure that they're in a position that wouldn't necessarily be the same as if it was a single window, because we want the point, the center point of um, both of these corners to meet. I could then measure from where they touch on that corner to the other side, and I had a bunch of these printed out, and that was the easiest way to measure it. Right, that's a bit better, a bit brighter, and no more granny curtains. Quick little realisation and learn from my mistakes section to the video. When I did lay out those little templates, I was coming off the bottom trim that sticks out a little bit of this frame. Of course, now we've notched over it, our shutter frames are a little bit further away, which just means we might have a little trim piece to put in between the two frames, um, which is kind of to be expected most times when you join two windows on an angle. You don't have to do that anyway. Under the bottom of the shutter frame, I've also just packed it up a little bit on one side just to make sure that bottom is nice and level. We'll then either be able to just trim or probably won't even take that, just a nice um, bead of sealant or cork along there. Right, we ready? Got seven, we've got seven, one, two, yeah. yeah, seven panels to go in. So the centre one split into three, which should mean that they're quite evenly sized. The guys recommended that we were going to do a pair in the middle, but um, I think they're going to be almost identical. So we'll have, yeah, three here, two of which are bifold to the left. Right, I'm gonna pause there from our bay window install just to say thank you to the Shutter Store for sponsoring this episode. They really helped us out with the ordering process as well as supplying these lovely shutters. I didn't wanna go into too much of the how-to side of things, so I'm gonna leave a link to all their videos, more instructional side of things, down in the description and any other info. Let's jump straight back in to the project. Well, there we go, I'm really pleased with that. It's looking good. I've got a little bit of adjusting with the hinges. They're on slotted holes so I can make sure the base of this centre rail here, you'll notice that this centre rail matches the centre rail of the two sashes, so we want to make sure that's continuous all the way around, so it's just the left one which needs to come up about three or four mil. I think this is neat enough. You can see I put this architrave on originally in a, a reveal into the window. It's neat enough in there, it's all decorated, so I might just leave that as it is. The full side here is nicely painted and looks fine anyway.
So we are about three or four weeks on now since we finished the shutters and we absolutely love them. So that's what it's like when they're all open and they've ended up, because we went from three in the middle, they've ended up even. Like I was trying to explain earlier. So that's, I mean most of the time they're gonna stay shut but it is nice that they can open like this. It's also nice when um, you're closing them and um, because this room is such a hot room, you don't have to feel like you can have them closed and keeping the heat out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And it looks nice, it doesn't look like you've just forgotten to open your curtains in the morning. <laughs> because of that same grey, even from the outside, when they're shut, they look really nice and it kind of makes the front of the house look really finished. Uh, they match the gutters, really smart. the fascia, the same grey. Yeah. Eight years with no windowsill. Oh, I love this windowsill. It's not even a windowsill, but... It is. It is covering up the little bit that was never there. I had to make something just to, to sit the shutters on, so just the fact that we've had to do that makes it just look so much nicer. Admittedly, in this room, don't you reckon white shutters would have worked quite well? I mean... Just, just because it's white. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, but I quite like the way it's different colour because then it like frames the whole bit, doesn't it? It yeah. frames the shutters really nicely. Makes them a feature rather than trying to blend them in too much. Yeah. And we're trying to be a bit braver with colour. Admittedly, this isn't a huge amount of colour, but it's something. It's more colour than white. Yeah. I think it looks traditional and I love the fact that it matches the fascias and the guttering. So. And the doors and the doors. Then the landing works out really well. I think the the light that this produces is just way le less harsh than when we had curtains, isn't it? We used to have a lot of light and I guess that would have eventually faded carpets and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. It's just a nice way to control them, to the, the light, isn't it? In the evening when you're putting the girls to bed, you want some landing light, but you don't want to put a yeah. light on. You can just use a bit of natural daylight. Yeah. But yeah, you can still give the privacy. You look like on a film set, you know, when they have the like fake shutter light coming through on someone. You mean without my makeup off? In natural world. We're not going to get much of a closer match without completely um, it's an amazing going past them. match. You think you could get closer than that? And we've put stuff on the windowsill here dead plants and candles. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think, because 90% of the time we're just opening and closing the louvers, aren't yeah, we? Yeah. We don't always open it all the way. Some people put the shutter out level with the wall, which is easier if you've got square reveals, and then they've got a windowsill on the other side, so they can leave like ornaments in the window. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a bit of a dead space, whereas at least we've got some windowsill here, and, you know, I guess you I would could, need to move I them. I can see pros to each, but yeah. There we go, that is all the shutters installed. How many were there, Rosa? One. One? Yeah. No, more than that. How many? Six? Yeah. Six. Six shutters in just over a day, I'd say, for us novices. Nice and straightforward for the most part of it. Um, our windows yeah. weren't that straightforward, but we made it work. Yeah. Definitely a great addition to our house. I'm chuffed. She's chuffed. That's I all that matters. I felt like I did it too. You did? Once again, huge thank you to the Shutter Store for sponsoring this episode. All the info down in the description. And remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time. It gets me every time. Ah! <laughs> I want to fun. Don't need to die. <laughs>